Hey everyone, Joe here. Today I want to show you how you can record and export audio with inside DaVinci Resolve 16. So before we get to that, check out this awesome product from A Shampoo. A Shampoo Burning Studio 21 is a versatile software to burn CDs, DVDs, and Blu-ray discs. Easily create movie discs with animated menus, slideshows, and audio discs. The built-in cover designer produces covers and inlays for all disc types. Burning Studio 21 features an exciting new carousel navigation menu system. Enjoy the deprogrammed menu navigation with the ability to select your favorite modules for instant access. Plus new tailor-made profiles for car radios, CD changers, and mobile storage media. Learn more and download your free trial by clicking the link in the description below. Okay everyone, welcome back. Okay, after you started up a DaVinci Resolve, we need to go down and actually create a new project. Okay, so if you haven't already did that, go ahead and click New Project, and you can name it whatever you want. Let's just put in Tutorial for mine, for example, and just go ahead and click Create. Okay, once that's done, you want to go to your Timeline window, and that'll be the one down here with the bars going across, and this is where you normally edit your uh, video footage and stuff. Now... First thing we got to do is actually create a new timeline. So go up to the file, go down to create a new timeline, or it just says new timeline here. You can just press control N if you want to click on that. And we have a few options. Now we can name our timeline. I'm not going to bother with it. You have a few options here for a number of video tracks and number of audio tracks. For example, you can go ahead and put in three, you know, audio tracks if you want to. For example, if you had like recorded some stereo sound, then you had dialogue. Then you want a background music, obviously. All right. Then you have the option to choose the default uh, type of tracks. Now, you can change this after you've already started the pro uh, project. But you have a few options here for mono, which is good. For example, if you're recording throughout the Scarlett 2i2 like I am, you can have uh, you normally have like all your audio go to what, one channel, normally like your left channel or your right. So you can have that set to mono, which you just put it in center. Like I said, but you also have the option of stereo 5.1, 7.1, or adapted that I've never used. So <laughs> let me just leave it on stereo. And we want to cl uh, click create here. Okay. Now, once that's done, we want to go down to where it says a little musical note down here, which is uh, Resolve Fairlight. And that is the actual module that we'll be using to record audio. Now, when you first get to the uh, module here, you can't automatically start recording because Fairlight has no idea what uh, your input source and stuff is. That's no problem. Go over here to it says A1, which is the track that we're going to be using, Audio 1 track. Let me see if I pull this out. I get a grip of it here. You can see you got all full uh, the tracks here, A1, 2, and 3. Okay, let's click on A1 and go down to where it says No Input and click on that. Then we go down to where it says Input and click Input. Okay, now it's going to bring up a little window here. And we can see you got microphone one and two. And we can also patch it into audio left, audio right, which is the channels on that particular uh, A1 source. As you can see, we also have an audio left and right for audio two channel and an audio three and an audio you know, left and right for it also. Now, just choose audio one and two and click the microphone side. Now, this will actually record stereo, uh, both that one signal, which is mono, on two, you know, two audio tracks. So go ahead and click patch, and that will actually link it. And once you click patch, you can just close that dialog. And you're probably noticing it's not recording audio yet. We need to click the R button down here at the bottom. And once we click R and start talking, you can see it now starting to pick up. Now, word of advice. When you go to recording kind of voiceover and stuff, it can be very annoying to hear yourself speak, especially since there's a slight delay. And you probably want to unclick the little monitor button here. So once you click that, we just do some test audio. Let's go ahead and click record and go A, B, C, one, two, three, test, test. This is a test audio for this tutorial. And once we click stop, you can now, you know, click uh, the repeat button to repeat if you want to, or we can just scroll back and hit play. Now I'm not recording audio into, uh, this uh, screen capture at the moment, but it is playing back and it was, it would if I unclicked that. So you do that and it actually uh, play for you. Okay. So there's your audio file. There's the first one. That's a little test. Now, how do you export it? It's actually quite easy. 
So we want to go down here to says uh, deliver. And we can see our little audio clip source down here. Now, if we scroll over, we have an option for audio only export with inside uh, DaVinci Resolve here. Click audio only. Okay. Then we want to go here and says, which says click audio. And we have a few options here to export QuickTime, uh, MX, OPF, Atom, MP4, Wave. I recommend Wave. But before you get started, you want to make sure you have it on the same as your project, which mine is at 48 uh, kilohertz anyway. And you want to choose your bit depth, which I'm recording at 48, uh, 24 bit. So, you know, 24 bit is what I need to choose. And plus 24 bit just really just has a little more dynamic range. So, and that's how I uh, highly recommend, you know, 24 bit, 48 kilohertz is studio quality. Okay. You can choose your output tracks since everything's getting mixed in through the main one stereo. I'm just going to leave it as that. Click add to render queue. We can name our file. We can see, yeah. Or, you know, like I said, you can name it up here at the top. And file location. We can choose what we want to. Save out the desktop. We can save it there and put in test. I can type it in. Test. There we go. Click add render queue and hit start render. And it will render it out for you right quick. And there we go. And now when we go to the desktop, I have them on an audio file there. Okay, everyone. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I know it's a little quick tutorial, but this was something that took me a minute to figure out going through all these loops and stuff just to record audio within the uh, side DaVinci Resolve 16. So I hope you found it helpful. And if you do, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up's always highly appreciated. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. Subscribing's free. It's for you. i let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.